Bad actors game the system, and we need solutions that benefit patients and improve access. But the majority was not interested in working with this side of the dais to hold a serious hearing to inform serious legislation. They didn't seek Republican input. The goal was to haul you guys in to cry capitalism and blame these corporations for the high cost of drug prices. Now, by the way, of course drug companies play a role. And hopefully we'll get answers today to legitimate questions about how, how drugs are priced. But the problem is far greater and more complex than individual companies, or even a set of companies within an ecosystem which is incredibly complex. Why do Americans pay more for certain drugs than patients in other countries? To understand, we need to have a serious effort to navigate the network of perverse incentives throughout the healthcare system. <clears throat> I lived in it for 25 years. I am very kind of aware of it. Taking a substantive look at insurance benefit design, price transparency, regulatory barriers, intellectual property barriers, the perverse effect government discount programs have upon prices charged to commercial patients, et cetera. One example, just to say again a little bit of complexity here, the 340B drug program resulted in a $54 billion in drug discounts in 2022. But we actually don't know if those discounts lowered prices for the patient who bought the drug. There are reports that patients paid cash when the intermediary took the full price, even though 340B should have lowered it. That is a serious investigation being conducted by this side of the dais that the other side of the dais was not interested in participating in.